All right, here we go. This is a 1v1 custom match on Chasm between the green player in the upper left-hand corner, Chronic X, in the Raptor Neo, and his opponent, the red player on the bottom right-hand corner, Sire0K, in the new uh, Prime Helix. Prime Helix. Gotta get, gotta get used to that name. But yeah, this is on Chasm, um, and th th these players are very, very familiar familiar with each other. I know they play with each other quite often. Um, I think they even match make together. And uh, <laughs> Chronic uh, requesting no cheese, and Sire's like, oh, no, I don't cheese, man. Um, and does put the blocking Dillo for the initial jackals that are going to come in. Um, at, at looking at the loadouts, um, Chronic doesn't actually have any anti-air. <laughs> and, uh, and um, Sire does have uh, Flackers in his loadout, but uh, has the, is going with the Dillos and um, Chronic going with the heavier Longhorn. Um, they uh, and Chronic doesn't actually have a, oh, actually Sire has a Honey Pot in his loadout. That's very interesting. I haven't seen Honey Pots in pretty much ever. Uh, <laughs> they haven't really, I mean, since I've been around, haven't really been that viable at all. Um, I really do hope that they get a major, major 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 buff sometime soon like double or triple their effectiveness right now just because uh i mean nothing nothing's outclassing money makers at this point um uh, maybe levelers to, to some extent but a lot of people haven't really been using them um sire going with Dil the dillos and the low ground uh really really quickly but i i see one does die uh, when you go with dillos directly to clear neutrals in mid uh, re regardless of the map, I think uh, if there are neutrals at mid on any map, you really, really need to babysit Dillos because they die so fast. Uh, un unless you do the whole leapfrogging thing where you put one one Dillo down and then you put another Dillo down in front of that one, so that one takes the new, you know, take that one takes the fire for uh, the the mid. Uh, neutrals that are attacking it, so they kind of split the damage going down. Uh, that that kind of works, yeah. Um, but uh, with Dillos, you really, really have to be careful just because they die so quickly. And when you lose one, that's literally um, 27. Is it 27 now? I think 27 or 26. Oh, I'm killing me here, but yeah, that that many credits gone from uh, from your from what you gain, and so that you know that just becomes that just contributes to the difference in credits between you and the the opponent. And now Chronic dropping some uh, some some jackals going to the to going to go to this outpost. Uh, it will not be able. I do not think they will be able to neutralize them with these dillos there. Um, and they do have medium armor, so the dillos will do full damage. Um, actually, three are up here now, and Sire is going to be forced to drop these dil uh, more defensive dillos uh, instead of using them to try to uh, combine bat against Chronic at mid, but Chronic actually has been able to take this. All the neutrals are gone on both sides, and starts to put artillery down right away. Uh, just, oh, you know, it's really an artillery dominant uh, patch right now in, in this current state of the game. Um, artillery are so effective, uh, but he did put them in the range of those Dillos, so a lot of them did die. Uh, the, you know, obviously the key to artillery is putting them within their own range and out of the tank fire range. Uh, but but that that uh, he did lose, I think, one or two artillery there to uh, to those Dillos firing in as well. Uh, Flacker up here for Sire, so it will prevent Chronic or at least uh, hinder him from doing quick flybys and quick drops, uh, especially with oh now Sire putting the honey pot down. He is gonna go with a honey pot down on the field, uh, and it, and honey pots are the best healers I think um, but they uh, do not really heal enough in my opinion especially for taking up a socket uh, it, 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 they do, do they do do a really good job and have like huge range so pretty much like honeypot will be able to heal anything on this high ground um, within within you know within this this area of the high ground uh, but now chronic doing um, I, I think that might have been bombing runs uh, no he doesn't have bombs in cuter or in loadout but he uh, he did, is doing. He did get that EMP. Does kill a couple of units, and uh, now able to move a lot of his um a lot of his uh, uh, ar ar uh artillery up uh, and and just really really destroying Sire's units. That honeypot did get killed. Um, the healer did die. Uh, and 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 um. Now, uh, oh, Sire has a great flank on on uh, on uh, Chronic's artillery. These two are not even pointed at all where uh, Sire's are. And now, Cr Chronic does get a little bit of flank on Sire's artillery, and it's really now just becoming the normal artillery war that you see in Chasm. Uh, going, going, seeing it uh, against the bottom is actually kind of kind of interesting. It's 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 much much of a different perspective, uh, and. Um, 
and now Sire getting a uh, reflank, reflanking Chronic's uh, artillery. Uh, they both have Archies. Uh, Archies being a more popular choice nowadays than Arties, just because the extra damage isn't really doing, uh, isn't really as beneficial as the extra range. Because uh, freedom in placement is way, way more um, important right nowadays than just extra damage. Uh, and if you do have that extra range, you really get that just that extra breathing room to be able to place your artillery somewhere and uh, they will be able to fire. Uh, Sire is losing this battle though. Uh, uh, Chronic is um, is really getting to push his units up. Um, but actually Chronic has lost a lot, uh, you know, quite a lot of his units as well. Um, Sire is not putting um, an anything but artillery up here. Look at all the artillery. He's really microing these uh, just as much as he possibly can. Does put another honeypot, ha does have another honeypot on the field, but look at all these fixers on Chronic's side. And they are healing each other, but do die very, very quickly into that artillery. Uh, they do walk into its path. Um, and now Chronic just moving stuff left and right, way, 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 way around everywhere. Um, just getting them firing into uh, into Sire's patch of in artillery, but I think, uh, in terms of numbers, definitely Sire is winning with this artillery war. Um, they are all firing on each other, so really the point is to be able to get artillery firing on artillery that is not able to fire on its... on its... You know return the fire <laughs> so just because of that whole flanking back and forth thing and now chronic is losing this uh li this battle there are way uh too many artillery for him to deal with and anything he puts down here kind of anywhere down here is going to get hit by artillery fire and killed very quickly because of the numbers uh he is still trying to do an artillery war but at this point he probably should pull back a little bit uh station his artillery on the other side of the chasm to be able to combat any units that get dropped here in front of the mid for Sire. Uh, and, and now he is pretty much everything dead. There's only a single uh, Longhorn over there, and Chronic does call out that arty spam. Um, <laughs> it's really, uh, and Sire has, has, has swag. Oh, these guys. But yeah, um, uh, the, the, the Chronic has pretty much zero units over here now, and Sire has a, just a freaking uh, 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 army of artillery. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a better word than army, I just can't think of it right now. But uh, now Sire has a real huge advantage. He really just needs to leapfrog more of his uh, actual like Dillos and um, Dillos and, and uh, Flackers uh, to be able to get closer to, the, to this middle outpost and push Chronic off of it. Uh, and Chronic doing a pretty good job, actually, microwing healing all of his units up, uh, does grab that tank before it dies, but Sire just has to just use his artillery that is already incredibly placed. Look at this, I'm going to get a great shot of this one more time, because that's just that's just a freaking line of artillery with uh, quite a lot of them, and uh, he, he just needs to dance around here, and anything that's over here, including Chronic himself, will get hit by these artillery. Um, and th that's that's just going to be a one one way easier way. Sire has 36,000 units in queue. He's really I think I guess he's waiting for level six or level seven to start spending it on Berthas and Goliaths. Uh, he's I unfortunately there is no progress uh, or experience bar progress indicator on a spectator view. But uh, I I would assume just because he's getting all these kills and anything that's over here just dies pretty much immediately. He's not using his rockets actually for that fire. He was just using his normal guns. But uh, and yeah, anything that goes down there, and now he has hit level six, so he will start. He does start queuing up birthdays. He is selling his artillery. I think it might be a little premature. He really needs to start to. Uh, he he needs to really balance that. You know, he he really needs to make birthdays and sell them off kind of back and forth. He and and you know he is doing a pretty good job doing that. These birthdays are, but the thing is, he spammed birthdays in his queue, and that really drained his power. If he kind of staggered that build queue, he would have been able to get a full um a full build rate out of that by having a, a blue power level. Uh, for example, he has three extra Berthas in queue, not doing anything but just waiting for the other one to be built. Uh, he he could have just waited for that to be uh, to be built to queue up the next one, and he would. And, and right 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 now, he finally gets blue blue uh, his power in the blue. Uh, I'm not sure if there's a term for that either, but in the blue, in the not slow your build speed down thing. But now Chronic with a lot of tanks gonna push through this bridge. This this definitely will be able to clear it. But once again, the pathing is a little messed up. They aren't gonna go for. Um, the, oh, this outpost has been neutralized, so now the capture command has resulted in them going for the mid instead of the top outpost. 
Um, and I, I think that's what happened. I don't think that they filled up on waypoints to, to this, uh, but, but Chronic did ferry his tanks all the way around here, getting good surround. The neutral's gonna, gonna get them killed very quickly, uh, and now Sire does see this, uh, but I don't know what he's gonna choose. To, he chooses to go with Dillos to, to, to defend, uh, and usually that is supplemented by artillery, uh, and he is gonna put them all over here horizontally, which is exactly what he needs to do, but the thing is, it is Dillos versus, uh, Longhorn, and even though the D Dillos are in the defense, Defensive position, which is advantageous. Oh, and Chronic dropping a uh, nothing actually, <laughs> dropping anything. But uh, but it, even though it is in the d defensive position, uh, you know it's just Dillos versus Longhorn. A lot of them do die. A lot of Longhorn, pretty much all the Longhorn that were pushed are dead. But uh, Sire just did a really good job healing that up, uh, keeping all of his Dillos, not all of his Dillos, but a lot of his Dillos alive. Oh, and he did position a Bertha in this area to fire. Uh, he he decided to sell it off there, but um, now is starting to produce Goliaths. Chronic is really you know, now pushed back out, out of the mid that he controlled very, very uh, strongly, I, I would add. Uh, and, and now he has to go for this top area. And, and Sire says, he who has the money wins. Uh, and uh, it's, what's kind of funny is he has two honeypots on the field filling sockets instead of moneymakers. But um, Chronic actually doesn't have any un any socket socketed moneymakers here or here. Um, that's, ooh, I, 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 you know, on, on Chasm, even if it's a 1v1, you do see pretty much, like, all the, you see the players, like, full socket pocketed money makers um and he was just sitting there <laughs> without money you can't already spam god so arrogant so arrogant sire but uh yeah um now now chronic is <laughs> typing back uh he says he does have money but sire has 86 87 thousand credits in his uh in his bank and he is uh he does have goliaths on the field he doesn't he doesn't have them out of his build queue he hasn't built uh brought them out um i would assume that's because uh you know having them on the field just is just more uh, less net power, you know, more upkeep, and so he, uh, he will have uh, a lot more power to be able to build uh, if he just keeps them in his build queue, which he's not, he's selling them off, he's buying and selling these Goliaths, oh man, he's just getting a lot of experience, and right now, because Chronic doesn't have any artillery over here, he doesn't really have to worry about um, not having artillery himself, and uh, Chronic doing a quick scout does see all those Goliaths, and um, now Sire is going to be able to push these out to this mid, but the thing is, uh, these Berthas are firing over, or are pointed over here, here, and we'll be able to fire on anything that's sitting over here. I'm pretty sure those are in range. And now, Chronic getting hit by those artillery. <laughs> Sire does not uh, get the rockets off before Chronic, uh, you know, gets away. But uh, these, it does only, that middle outpost only has two lights up. And now Chronic going straight for the front door. Uh, Sire obviously doesn't see this just because Chronic is cloaked. And now he will be able to respond. Uh, the, that, that damage sound does go off immediately. Um, and uh, Chronic uh, microwing everything around. But, I, you know, he didn't really need to micro it around uh, because there was nothing blocking. Really, the, the number one and pretty much only reason... Um, um, to, to micro all your units around is because there are blocking units uh, to preventing your your fort attacking units to uh, attack in. Um, another, you know, obvious other reasons like uh, if you if your uh, if your attacking unit sits there next to a bunch of other of a, next to a bunch of other tanks, they are going to die. So that's another reason too. But uh, if if if, if uh, <laughs> this was a completely undefended fort, and uh, Sire now finally uh, finishes off that uh, Longhorn. Um, and five Goliath going for Chronic support. Uh, this is really scary. But the thing is, he has quite a lot of Berthas pointed toward uh, defensively uh, toward the approaching tank push, uh, push path, and has a lot of Longhorns in queue. Is gonna be able to uh, get a great defense off. Oh, and now Sire switching focus. I think he's going for the uh, the fort or the the outpost now. Um, no, they are still going for the fort, but that would have been great. But they are gonna go for the side instead of the front door. So uh, Chronic is gonna have to reposition all of his defensive uh, Longhorn to be. Able to get the uh, to be able to get them to block those incoming Goliath and now has to reposition his Berthas and Sire uh, actually uh, got a lot of those Berthas killed with those Goliaths and now dropping one on the front door it it is going to be able to be blocked but uh, now there are just I mean it's just going to be way too many to handle uh, Sire getting under fire by Chronic there but is getting is really avoiding fairly well um, and now Sire getting or Chronic getting that EMP gonna finish off Sire and uh, these um, these Goliaths are going to be killed pretty quickly, uh, especially now that there are a lot of Longhorn here, uh, to, to get that block, uh, Chronic isn't going to take that much more damage, and those Berthas raining in on those Goliaths, this one over here, Chronic forced a body block with it, um, he could have dropped uh, another Longhorn to block, but he did finish it off, and now Sire 
lost mid actually that was a quite a not a failed goliath push but it didn't work the way that he hoped it would uh and now he doesn't have control of mid anymore uh fortunately he does have still a two berthas firing in uh and now sire will be able to uh i don't think he's gonna be able to finish these uh chronic's gonna, chronic is over here and now this now he is repositioning his berthas uh moving them to uh attack what Sire now controls, which is the middle outpost that is red, doing a quick scout uh, is not that I guess is you know does see those Goliath that are over there uh, and uh, it is still very very well defended. But um, you know doing that scout does tell Chronic uh, uh, that Sire's a lot ha that Sire has a lot of units and economy and power invested over in that area. Um, little does he know, Sire has 65,000 credits still and is just non-stop building these Goliaths. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, this is a 1v1, so, you know, usually you don't bring generators. If Sire had generators, then he would really be able to start pushing these Goliaths out like crazy. Especially right now, he's really, really power-starved. Uh, each time he gets uh, enough power to build, he does queue a Goliath. But, uh, you know, if I were him, I would try to stagger my build order. Or not my build order, but my build timing, just so I can try to get my power in the blue as much as possible. Uh, so the... Um, just so the Goliaths build faster. Uh, and now there is a, lot, a, a pretty good line of defense here by Chronic. I'm not sure if Sire is going for the front door or for the um, for the other outpost, but now is splitting his forces. I don't know if Chronic has noticed that they are uh, that they are being split. Two Goliaths are going down for this bottom outpost, which is 100% undefended. Sire will be able to take it, uh, but Chronic does see it. He's going to drop a uh, defending Goliath, and uh, if unless Sire is over there to support, which Chronic will be, uh, then this will be shut down, uh, but however will take a lot of Chronic's time to get this defense off, uh, and, and one Goliath will obviously not beat two Goliaths, uh, and, and he does have to get the EMP. Uh, he is shooting, he is, you know, adding his own damage, and so I, but I still don't think this is going to be enough to, uh, to, you know, he has to stay here and maintain this, this attack. Uh, he, oh, and Chronic almost getting killed by Sire there, getting, a uh, swoop down there, um, almost getting that, uh, snipe, um, <laughs> um, or, uh, the, uh, I guess that might have even been technically a gank, but uh, at this point he has been able. To, Sire, Sire's Goliaths have neutralized this bottom outpost, which will get retaken pretty quickly by the creeps for uh, that chronic uh, that chronic that are coming out of chronic sport, and they are actually almost there. Um, even though Sire is gone, uh, he does still have a huge advantage in map control and economy. He has way more credits than Chronic. Uh, he he has finally come back to the battlefield and now repositioning all of his units. It does save that Goliath before it gets killed. The other one is under fire by two Bursas, three Bursas, Bursas in fact, um, Bursas, Bursas is not a word, but yeah, um, and Chronic, oh, Sire has, uh, more, now has more Bursas out on the field, he still has 37,000 credits, Chronic queuing up a lot of fixers, uh, I, uh, they, they will help in the support, but you are way, he is really, really outnumbered, uh, in terms of the birth account, and, um, I think even in Goliaths, he's, uh, there are three versus two, and Sire has definitely enough credits to produce, uh, Sire has, uh, not even, but you see, and this still is completely empty socket-wise, and this is completely empty socket-wise, it's really not something I would expect to see, uh, and, and, and just because money, money makers are obviously, uh, just pretty amazingly strong, um, and, um, I, 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 if, if either of these players had a lot of just you know full money makers, I think it would be enough to turn the tide for either one, or not necessarily turn the tide, but just you know get uh, one wave drastically ahead. Um, there are this we still are seeing this Bertha and um, uh, and the Goliath war here, uh, just the Uber unit war pretty much. Uh, I don't know if uh, anything else besides these Uber units and I guess Chronic fixers are going to be produced. Um, and at this point, because of the birth of Splash, these fixers are really not that effective. They die. They, the fixers die super quick uh, under artillery fire. Uh, and if they're if they're healing anything, then that thing is under fire. And usually, it's going to be by a Bertha. Um, and Sire selling off still. Uh, I'm not really sure what he's trying to get at this. Uh, he is selling off units. Uh, he, I, okay, he's moving back, but it's really not a reason to sell off your units. And he is moving way back, actually. Uh, I'm not really sure why. Uh, he is kind of losing this battle for mid, but uh, he uh, he's just pretty much giving up on... Uh, on holding this. Uh, he is retreating backwards, and now we are going to have another shift in uh, power, in the, not necessarily power, but map control, uh, and Chronic's probably going to be able to take mid. 
Uh, even though Sire has Birthless firing in, it's gonna be neutralized at the very least. And these three un these three creeps are gonna be able to get in there. Uh, and, and just there are two more coming in, so this will be green. Uh, although there are two Goliaths here to eventually neutralize it, and Sire trying to do an infantry drop gets caught by Chronic and is probably gonna be finished with the with, these, with the, uh, the EMP that will have been inevitably not actually doesn't go down. Uh, Chronic does not land. He is just stalking Sire, but stalker but Sire with that auto re uh, regen uh, is oh and Chronic does land and does tr uh, moment terribly get Sire to lift off. Oh, and Sire is getting, he almost got hit by that EMP. Uh, but, no, but, but I don't really know why he's still running because I think he did get a level up there, or, or even if he, I'm not really sure, but he had full life. Regardless of how, the reason, he had full life and, you know, he got, he got, he got out of there. Uh, pretty easily and now I'm not uh, I guess chronic sending these over the bridge no a T capture with a uh, mid not owned is not at this point on uh, on this patch in chasm is gonna send it to mid it doesn't matter where you drop it oh it does actually you can drop it I know you can drop it I think here like really really far up here uh, it, it just go to the closest outpost and once you're barely close enough to uh, to that uh, for that top if you're, if you're the uh, upper left hand player uh, if you're if you're barely close enough to that top outpost and you drop your jackals in capture in capture command, then um, they will. Uh, whoa, Sire almost died there, dropping into the chasm. That was kind of crazy. He was shooting his uh, his his rockets. Uh, has the striker sword um, <laughs> suicide kill bug feature, whatever you want to call it, uh, has that extended to all secondary abilities? Um, and if so, then uh, <laughs> the the actually. And yeah, actually, I think every single mech has a ground ability. Uh, continually, you, like like even bombers uh, will be able to uh, use Mantis Strike on the ground, and if it does lock them onto the ground, uh, this kind of is a little pointless to, to mention. But it, the, if it did let them fall off the uh, the, the cliff, then uh, it, it would work just because bombers can just completely permanently charge Mantis Strike on the ground. Way off topic, but now Chronic gonna, gonna attack these birds. I don't know if he's gonna be able to get it. Oh no, Sire is here, firing his rockets in. Doesn't get to finish Chronic just because that Neo, super quick and with that cloak, able to get away. Uh, and now Sire bringing these to the front door. Uh, probably going to drop on the side. No, does decide to go with the front door. Even though there's a bunch of uh, defensive tanks, I probably would have chosen to go with the side if it were me. Uh, I, I, I would have hopefully uh, maybe avoided that tank fire uh, more, for longer. But, you know, it's really hard to, to get that trade-off, um, to decide what the trade-off there is between double damage and uh, not getting uh, attacked. And, you know, just the extra time that you might get if you, your tanks don't die. Uh, but now, <laughs> once again, these ground battles—they're always so—they're um, always attacking uh, each other. Uh, and 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 Chronic obviously with with the slight advantage in speed and with that EMP. But the thing is, Sire with that chopper has the higher DPS. Oh, Chronic leveling up, but but you know doesn't matter. Would have been able to win that battle anyway, seeing as he had a lot more health than Sire. Uh, does finish Sire on the ground. Um, and now starting to push his units up. Um, I don't know if these Berthas actually, these Berthas here on the on the high ground would be able to fire uh, on the other side of this mid. I don't think so actually. I don't think they have that extra range. Um, but now Chronic gonna clean up this Bertha. I'm not sure why Sire hasn't been able to return um, or hasn't chosen to return to the uh, to the battlefield here. Obviously at mid is the battlefield. Um, and now gonna. Ring more Dillos. Just gonna go straight for damage. He is slightly behind, and overtime is gonna kick in. Uh, it does. It does look like mid won't be controlled by anyone. Chronic doesn't get that block off properly, but does kill the Dillos quick enough, such that it didn't really matter to begin with. Um, but yeah, at this point we are coming approaching overtime too, so there it is more of a, uh, a ninja drop or fort drop oriented game. You really need to get that extra damage in. It doesn't look like mid's going to be controlled by anyone really. So because the damage is going to be roughly, um, uh, the, the bleed is going to be pretty much the same, uh, each player owning the same amount of outposts, then uh, it really does come down to drops. And at this point, Sire is, I think Sire is slightly behind in uh, Fort Health. And obviously, 1v1, there are no lunchboxes uh, in these loadouts. Uh, the, you really very, pretty much never see lunchboxes in 1v1 loadouts. And now Sire, uh, going with a Goliath push over the bridge, uh, I guess he did send them on attack, but now he's probably reassigning them to capture. I'm not sure why he's picking every single one up. Maybe just, uh, I think picking up a, uh, a tank actually uh, relieves them of the stasis effect that it gets put in. Chronic gonna finish off Sire here. Sire was really, really low on life there and didn't decide to retreat, so uh, I guess 
at that point, maybe he was hoping that Chronic made a small would make a small error and let him get away there um, instead of. Uh, but you know, obviously, if you're not going, if you're not going to, if you know you're not going to survive, just try to keep your own units or do as much as you can where you are before you die. Uh, there is a lot of Goliaths here to defend, and Chronic's not going to be, or er, Sire's not going to be able to. Er, those, ta those those Goliaths of Sire weren't going to be able to do anything. But now he can bring four Dillos uh, in his in his in his cargo and will get caught by Chronic here. I don't. He really needs to just abandon them now. Uh, he just needs to get away. And uh, at this point, Chronic can clean this up. But I think this is going to be neutralized outpost. Um, and yes, does get neutralized. Uh, well, a little spoke too soon, but it will. I, I guarantee you it will. Uh, yes, it does. Uh, Chronic is not able to respond to those creeps in time, but now has probes. Going to retake it, but does give Sire an opening to bring four more Dillos to the front door. But Chronic, uh, I don't think he saw Sire, actually. He passed right by him, but he didn't He didn't see him. Uh, he is coming back, uh, just because he now does obviously see him. Uh, and we, Chronic, for Sire gets a pretty good spread on the side here. Uh, is coming back to re-micro everything, getting another good spread. Uh, Chronic is really, really struggling to get this block, but Sire is, is, is pretty much... Uh, does has zero energy had to get away there uh, I would have maybe expected him to just drop on his left side to try to recharge and get extra damage in with his guns um, but he did not do that but did get quite a lot of damage off on the fort and now we are in overtime too uh, chronic actually owns the middle outpost but I'm not sure for how long he will be able to hold that with these Berthas these Berthas actually aren't firing in uh, they really need to be repositioned Sire needs to reposition those uh, does see it he is starting to reposition is, is pivoting them so they can fire at mid uh, and hopefully for him anyway will be able to neutralize his outpost but at the, and at this point he is ahead chronic is slightly behind on fort health um, I don't know if he'll be able to uh, if he'll be able to send enough tanks to uh, and, and at this point I, I'm not actually sure how fast the difference will be in bleed out if he can if he controls you know if he's able to keep this middle outpost which he isn't right now but if he's able to retake it I'm not a, I'm not actually sure oh he does get a Goliath on the corner he gets a Goliath on the corner. It does get blocked. I would expect him to pick this up and re-micro it around. He does move it to an available space. Chron Sire is desperately trying to get this block off, and, and Chronic does uh, get it uh, repositioned, and he still has quite a lot of life left. Not as much energy as he, as he would like, but the other two Longhorn accompanying are here at the front door. Chronic does uh, is forced to go back and recharge, uh, but and now all the uh, all the pushed units are are dead. But uh, that does put Chronic ahead in life. Um, and he is going to retake mid at this point uh, and probably use them or use mid to be able to bring a Goliath out of Q and do another four drop. Uh, he is trying to see where Sire is. He, uh, I would assume that he's going to do another cloaked four drop, but uh, I don't know if he has enough energy with uh, to to bring actually a Goliath out there. Uh, two Dillos dropping the other side, able to neutralize this outpost, especially obviously with the help of the Berthas. Um, but Sire going for the uh, side that does not get it is very low on life. Probably will get finished by Chronic. Does lift off in time to counter that EMP and uh, is is just Viking dancing up and down with Chronic. Uh, I don't know if he'll be able to survive that much longer. But uh, the more time he spends on the ground, the more energy he does, re or the more energy and health he does regain. Uh, he has a lot uh, of energy actually. And is just a little bit low on life. There are no more Dillos over here, and the, he, there is a great wall of tanks, and does is Sire does get finished by Chronic there, uh, and now Sire calling the GGWP. Um, I'm not sure if he should give up at this point. Come on, man. There, there, there are... Um, there are there's still two fairly unblocked walls here um, and and he does have a lot of Dillos in queue uh, and Chronic bringing another Goliath over here gonna try to find a wall a, a hole in, the, in this wall and Sire bringing Dillos the same but uh, with that Goliath on the front door um, on his front door not on the front door exactly but hitting a corner uh, and now Chronic is ha, or now Sire had decided to uh, no he hasn't decided to go back and respond he's just slowly losing life uh, that that Goliath does get finished by Dillos eventually, but there are so very, very uh, little defenses here, and he is bleeding uh, at the same rate as Sire, or at the same rate as Chronic. Oh man, he's I'm just getting a little confused with these names, but yeah, uh, the, the, but Chronic is not, he's, all he has to do now is uh, uh, just keep a good watch on his minimap and on the field and just prevent Sire from doing any more drops. Uh, Sire does ditch that one, uh, yeah, but uh, gonna try to do some front door drops. There is not enough here to be able to do enough damage to finish off Chronic, even though he has quite a lot of Dillos here and he is trying to, uh, get, uh, he's trying to fire in, but this bleed is happening just too fast. And uh, at this point, 
it, it pretty much is GG. Uh, Sire is almost getting taken down here and does get killed. Chronic X does take this custom match on Chasm between Sire, between him and Sire Zero K. Very, uh, very close battle. But in the end, Chronic was able to take it. Uh, he did not get any. He did not die at all, and just got a bunch of kills on Sire. Um, and uh, yeah, the, uh, but you know the the scores were pretty even. They 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 really went back and forth on mid that entire time, um, and that was really a that was a pretty pretty back and forth game. Uh, big thanks to Chronic X for that replay and Sire for uh, playing in it. This is RUI, and that's games. See you next time.